Hi everyone, my name is Tiana. Um, this is my first tutorial I've ever made. So um, I call this the No Sock Sock Bun. Um, so what you're going to need is an elastic headband, two clips. Um, these are small, I got them from Target. They're goodies. And you're going to need some bobby pins. I use, I'm going to be using three big ones and three small ones. I get these at Sally's. And then you're going to need a brush just to brush your hair out. And I have a comb because I like to do a part. So I used to get my part right. So first you just want to, you can do it with not brushed out hair or brushed out hair. It doesn't really matter. Um, my hair is currently kind of wet because I just took a shower. So I blow dried it a little bit trying to get it a little bit dry on top. So it would be a little bit easier to work with. But um it's fine so what you'll start out by doing is doing a ponytail so however you want to do your ponytail i usually like to do mine with a part in the front to the side so and then um wherever you want your bun to be your um sock no sock sock bun wherever you want it to be that's where you should put your ponytail lately um I've been liking to do mine more on top of my head, like, so higher up, I do a much higher up ponytail. If you want your sock bun to be more towards the base of your neck, just do a lower ponytail. So I'm going to go ahead and put my elastic in, just like a normal ponytail. Alright, so there's that. So it's just my hair. In a normal ponytail, that's all it is right now. And so, oh, I forgot to tell you, you're also going to want a hand mirror. So, <laughs> the hand mirror is so that you can see the back, what you're doing in the back. So, then I want you to just split your ponytail in half. Just split it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't really matter. Just split it in half. And as you can see, my hair is pretty long. So if you have like um, shoulder length hair, I don't know if this will work, but if you have longer than shoulder length hair, this should work. And if you have really thick hair, you might want to do more sections than I'm doing. I'm only doing two sections. Um, you're going to need more clips though if you're going to do more sections. My friend sometimes does four sections, but she has much longer and much thicker hair than mine. So what you do next is you pull your hair forward and then you wrap it around your fingers. My hair's not all the same length either, so sometimes you have to do it a couple times. So you'll wrap it around your fingers like this, and then you just take your fingers like this and you roll it. Sometimes you have to pick up the pieces as you roll, especially if you have a lot of layers. You're going to need to practice a couple of times because sometimes it can be hard to do this. So then you just roll in towards the base of your ponytail holder. So that's where my ponytail holder is. So now I'm going to take the clip and see, I try to get the clip. I don't know if you can see that, but I try to get the clip in the entire roll, the entire roll clipped. Now it's not clipped very well because it's such a small clip. I usually like to use bigger clips, but I can't find any right now. So there's the first part. It just looks like a roll. So if you've ever done a pin curl, that's kind of what it is. It's just a huge pin curl rolled up. So then you do the same thing to the bottom. You just wrap it around your fingers. And then you roll it up. This is going to take you a few tries if you've never done this before. Don't get frustrated. You can do it. It's not that hard once you get the pin curl down. Before you get the pin curl down, it will be a little bit hard for you, but once you get the pin curl down, it will probably take you maybe five minutes to do in the morning. So I like to do this when I'm in a rush, or if I'm in a hurry, or if my hair's really gross, or if I'm trying not to wash it or something. So I will usually flatten it. Usually it's a lot puffier because my hair is kind of wet, so it's kind of not as puffy today. but. I try to push it down and shove one of the pins. I bobby pin it down just a little bit like that. And then I'll take a bigger bob. That was a bigger bobby pin. This is another big bobby pin. And then I take it and I put the two pieces together. Because see this? This is like a round 
circle, this is a round circle, so you're just connecting that round circle to make it look like, like the sock bun. So you just pin that right there so that looks good. And then the other side is generally what I need the um, mirror for. So that's when you use the hand mirror. A lot of people just turn around with their back to the mirror and hold the mirror up kind of like this so you can see the back. That's what a lot of people do just like this. That's how you use a hand mirror. Excuse my uh, kind of messed up chair. But um, I don't need the mirror because I can do it. I can feel it. I can feel where I need to close it. So when you just close it like that. And I think I don't need to use the rest of the pins. So um, a lot of times I like kind of a bump right here. So I will just pull this forward, this hair forward a little bit to give it a little bit of volume in the front. And I like to pull it down a little bit more over my forehead. And voila! It's not too bad. Not too, too bad anyways. So this is the bun right there. So you can see the back. That's the back of it. So it's just a nice circle, and sometimes it's not always as circular as you want it, so you can just play with it until you get it in a circle. And um, the bigger you spread your fingers apart when you're wrapping your hair around it, the bigger your bun is going to be. So if you want a really big bun, spread your fingers out really wide. If you want a smaller bun, try to wrap it really really tight around your fingers and keep your fingers really tight while you roll it up and then I'll give you a smaller bun. Um, this is the size I generally like. I would like it on my head a little bit more on top of my head so um, sometimes I'll just take some bobby pins and I'll push it forward and just pin it into place. Sometimes it doesn't always work. Sometimes it does. Yeah see so it um, stayed a little bit higher up. Um, sometimes I wear it low down low. It just depends on where you want to wear it. And um, after this, I would I will go hairspray it to keep all the flyaways down and to make it look really good. So that's how I do the no sock bun. No sock sock bun. <laughs> if you have any questions, just leave comments below. Thanks. Bye.